Hey guys, I'm back with another video. If you want to see how I did these Alice in Wonderland nails, keep watching. First things first, y'all, I am using my XXL No C Curve Coffin Tips from my website. And I did the pop off method, so you'll see me here just kind of like sanding the tip down a little bit. Now, wait until the end of this video because there is a hidden surprise at the end of this video in my nails. Right here, you're going to see me using this acrylic color from Not Polish. It is called Obsessed G02. Um, I'm also using my size, I believe this was my size 12 Kalinsky acrylic brush. By the way, you guys, almost every single thing in this video besides the acrylic is from my website. And I'm going to link all the products that I used in this video in the description below. Don't forget, you can always use my code YouTube to save yourself 10% on everything from nailsbydev.com. Anywho, when I'm doing acrylic... I like to do a three bead method. I lay down my first bead, bring it to the tip, and then I go in with my second bead to build up the apex. And here you see me laying the cuticle bead. Um, I try to get this as close as the cuticle as possible. And I am so happy lately with my application. It's gotten so much better and this brush really helps too. Here's my foundation laid, looking all crispy. But now we're gonna crisper up using my 100, 180 grit files. Taking my work it bit, finishing off the acrylic and then buffing my acrylic out. Now I'm gonna be taking a brown liner gel. This is an unreleased liner gel that will soon be on my website in about a month or two. And we're just gonna start with getting the sketch outline of Alice. Now, listen, you guys, do not stress out when you're trying to paint Disney characters because trust me, I did too. Disney princesses are so hard because like one little thing off and the whole character looks just totally jacked up. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I like, you're gonna see that like, I didn't mess up, but um, trust me, I just left that part out. I erased like two little things, like the eyebrow, you can see a little smudge because I erased right there. And yeah, you know, it's okay to make mistakes. You can always fix them just by erasing. I use my little Slim Shady blender brush to erase mistakes with some alcohol. Um, after I filled in her hair, I'm just gonna go in with Baby Doll. And then on her little outfit down here, I'm using my blue liner gel, which is blue Daba D. And I'm also gonna fill out a little bit of her outfit down here. Then I'm gonna go in with my white gel polish. By the way, you guys, the brush I'm using is this one. It's the Helicute liner brush. It is my holy grail. Anyways, we're gonna fill in down here on the body. And then we're just gonna hold our breath and try to do these eyes. This was so hard to record, you guys. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. So I hope you uh, like this video. If you guys are enjoying this video, give it a like and please subscribe to my channel if you are feeling this content. Now I'm gonna go back in with that blue liner gel and fill in her eyes right here. She's looking crazy. We're gonna switch a little bit to the micro detailer brush. I love this brush for doing little tiny eyelashes and just like really tiny little circles and like extreme details. It is such an amazing brush. And now for my arch nemesis, we're gonna paint the lips. Look at the mouth. I am so happy with how it came out. Usually I hate doing the mouth, but I really like how hers turned out. Now we're just gonna take a darker blue liner gel and kind of outline her outfit down here. And by the way, like she's outlined with a bunch of different colors. Like right here, you see me using a gray and I'm gonna switch to a brown in a minute. And like, she's not outlined with black. Like right down here on her chin is like a dark brown, that dark brown liner gel. And then like against the body part here, it's like a dark blue. She's all over the place. We're gonna give her a little headband up here using the baddest black liner gel. The best liner gel, by the way. You guys will be obsessed. And look at how she turned out. Now, I thought it would be so cool to take this opportunity to show you guys how I do my blooming gel tie dye. Um, I started off with a white French tip using my white gel polish whiteout, and then I went in with my blooming gel. Now I only did it on the tip here in a very nice thin layer. You don't want it too thick. I'm gonna take my dotting tool, and while the blooming gel is wet, I'm gonna go in with bad drip, bad, sorry, bad trip gel polish, making a little swirl pattern. After you're done with the blue, you wanna cure this in the lamp for about 30 seconds. After you've cured it in the lamp for about 30 seconds, you wanna go in with that blooming gel one more time 
in that same area. Make sure you keep it thin. You don't want to do it too thin, but you also don't want it too thick because your pattern will run all over the place. And now I'm going in with Rave Girl, the pink gel, and it just like spreads. You let it spread for like maybe 10 to 20 seconds and look at how amazing that is. I gave it a little black outline and now we're moving on to the star of the show. We're gonna do some 3D. Look at this product. This is my unreleased new trippy gel color. We have clear coming in 16 other colors, you guys. Oh my gosh. Trippy gel is a 3D sculpting gel that you can take your time and sculpt your nail art out as opposed to using acrylic. Because when you work with acrylic, you have to rush and it hardens as you work with it. But with this, you can use a silicone tool, a 3D brush and use alcohol to manipulate the product and cure in the light after you have it how you want it. Now you see me just adding a little cork to the bottle using the brown trippy gel. And then I took some blue jelly colors, a light blue and a dark blue and kind of swirled them together to give it like this liquid filled jar look. Um, I took my black trippy gel and made this little tag like string. And then I took the white trippy gel and made the little tag and in a little bit we're gonna write drink me on this you guys this was so hard but it was so much fun to create here you're gonna see me sculpting out the little sugar cookie shaped like a heart i'm going with my hot pink trippy gel i patted it down to make it look thin and then like make it look like icing and here you guys are gonna see me using the filler brush to fill in around my 3D art. This brush is so amazing to get into like the little nooks and crannies when you do 3D acrylic or 3D gel designs. It is an amazing brush. And now for the like probably the hardest part besides her eyelashes on this set, we're gonna paint right here and right here. We're gonna paint Eat Me on the cookie, just like the movie. This was so cool, you guys. I used the micro detailer for this, by the way. It's really good for tiny letters. And I used it for this one. I wrote drink me on this tag over here. I also did the tie dye French on the thumbs and the pinky. And you guys, look at how this set turned out. Ah, I'm obsessed. And just when you thought that it couldn't get better, wait, remember I said I had a surprise for you guys? Wait, just, just wait a second. But right now, I wanna take this opportunity to ask you guys, drop me a comment below and let me know what Disney movie you wanna see me paint next. And for the surprise, look, they glow in the dark, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. These were so hard to say goodbye to. I hope you guys really liked this video. If you guys do attempt to recreate this design, please tag me on Instagram or TikTok or wherever, and I'll see y'all in another video soon. Bye, guys.